off. There's a honk of support. Thank you! Thank you! The what? Oh, maybe! Was it Rick? Oh, that might be Rick! <laughs> I think Rick just showed up from... You mean Rick with a K, right? You mean Rick with a K in Illinois? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that kind of does look like his car. That's, we're in Michigan, so that's kind of surprising. I didn't know he was coming, although I came from Chicago, so maybe I should have known. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, yeah, you can uh, appreciate this. So I recently We're on got... Facebook Live, by the way. Is this a story okay for Facebook Live? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> so I actually just recently uh, started dating this girl. Like, he knows almost nothing about Judaism. And one day, he just, right, without even mentioning it to her, he just randomly messaged me saying, Hey, is it true that Jews cut part of the dick off? What did she say? She basically was appalled when I told her about all that it was true. And like, I, that it was, sorry, I don't know if the live heard you, but he was saying that I um, started dating someone who was asking about circumcision and was yeah, like appalled by it. It's true that you do that. And I said, yeah, it's all true. And he was actually quite appalled to hear that. Yeah. yeah I'm, not, I'm pretty sure she got nauseous when I told her that the seeds of a pay is a thing. Oh, oh yeah, like it, it. A lot of things are yeah. <laughs> crazy about this. So yeah, basically, he promised, he assured me, if she's the one I end up with, that the kids will not be cut ever. Well, that's good. I've convinced them, I've won someone over. Ah, uh, do you want? Can uh, you pick those up? Actually, sorry. Yeah, I got too much stuff in my hands, but I can put them in some kind of pocket or something. I got it. Thank you. But yeah, we're out here in um, outside of Detroit in Royal Oak. Would you like a card? You sure? Okay. Tell your friends not to cut their children. Don't sexualize babies, please. We don't want to suck that dick. Which it's a baby. <laughs> Don't worry, Grandma is supposed to do that anyway. Equal rights for everyone. There's some support again. Not too much stuff in my hand. Sorry, this live is not that steady. I have like a sign, a megaphone. Um, my mask keeps falling down. You know. 
they'll be here because we can't cross the street in time so but yeah so we're out here um some of us in blood stains some of us in red clothes some just in street clothes but we're out here um protesting against the genital cutting of children it's your body it should be your decision if parts of it are removed and it shouldn't be something that's happening to little babies who cannot consent to um being harmed for life so we are at 13 mile in woodward in uh, royal oak um, on our way to beaumont hospital uh, which has an incredibly high cut rate um, i don't know the actual number but michigan is already uh, one of the highest states and um beaumont hospital is one of the one of the worst ones in the area so we're trying to make a stand against genital mutilation and we are about to cross again okay but yeah we're on our way and thanks for tuning in and i think i'm i think the live will go at least till we get to the hospital but um, the hospital is another couple blocks <laughs> a force out here We're crossing a really busy street right now, so we're kind of clumped together, but um, everyone is trying to at least stay a few feet from everybody. And there's a lot of cars going by, people taking pictures. There's a few of us in blood stains that always gets the couple pictures going. Um, we should wait for them to cross over, but you guys can keep going if you want. Circumcision is bullshit. That is a great sign. We have the crying baby walking. Aw, they look so sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to laugh. I just know who that is, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> So if you're just tuning in, we are at, um, in Royal Oak and we are on our way to Beaumont Hospital today because this hospital genitally mutilates babies. Um, that was some honks of support. And there's no reason to be doing genital mutilation. Um, it's not acceptable. It's your body. It should always be your decision if something happens to it. And I just stepped in a bunch of water, which is so great, <laughs> which I can only tell because I'm walking barefoot in case anyone's curious. Um, but <laughs> anyways, <laughs> but yeah, so we are trying to stop genital mutilation and trying to get people to wake up to the horrors that is infant circumcision. Um, it doesn't matter if you're male, if you're female, if you're intersex, no matter what your sex is, no one has a right to violate you without your consent. And babies clearly cannot consent to such procedures. And it's not acceptable that we're subjecting them to this. In hospitals, in the United States, this is the only country where the majority of baby boys are being mutilated other than Israel. So it's the only one for non-religious reasons that this is happening. And there's no medical reason for it, despite all of these myths. It's not acceptable. It's purely a cultural phenomenon that's unique to our country. And it needs to stop. When you talk to people in other countries about this, they're appalled. Like they can't believe that this is so common here. Like, I was protesting in um, Hollywood, California. There was a lot of tourists going around. And you could tell immediately that people were, like, from out of the country because they were like, why are you protesting this religious ritual? And it's like, no, this is happening in hospitals. And they were like, what? Like, they didn't understand at all. Like, and regardless if um, it's being done for religious or cultural or whatever reasons, it's still not your body. And everyone has a right to the freedom of their body the freedom to express themselves however they want like it's it's not okay but anyways um back to the march sorry i'm ranting a lot enjoy my talking and probably my horrible camera angles because that's what i'm known for in my life so you're getting the best of the best just kidding you're getting like the worst of the worst but it's fine oh 
I am not trying to play with that bee today. This is my sign made by David Wilson. He's awesome. And this is my favorite sign. The other side says honk if you love foreskin. But yeah. Oh, um, bike! Bike! like six, you know, the use. Yeah. Mom's here with their babies. Their small kids. It's totally family friendly. Peaceful. And yeah, we got a we got a good turnout. So So we are almost at the hospital. That's a short walk. Michael can take some photos and give them to me. Yeah. Michael will take some Woohoo! Michael will take some photos on uh, his phone and send them to me and then I'll send them to you. Okay. Hey, that's great. So we're in front of Belmont Hospital in Royal Oak, Michigan.
And we have a sign here that says, heroes work here. It's good to know there's people working there who don't mutilate children. I guess that would make them a hero. But yeah, so we are officially here. We have the right to film and video you. And but you aren't allowed to record at home. <laughs> <laughs> I had plans to, but I'm I think I'm going to turn off the live. Sorry, I'm by myself right now. Um, but yeah, we are again outside of Belmont Hospital and we are protesting against the genital cutting of children. And yeah. So, I'm gonna tune out. I might do another live later, but I'm gonna um, start doing megaphone stuff or something, figure out what to say. I don't have anything planned, I'll just roll with it. But yeah, if you guys are in the area, if you're by um, Royal Oak, we'll be here until 3.30 Eastern time, of course. Um, so, Feel free to join us. Tune it out. Thanks.